three, four. Hi from my journal and welcome back to my channel. I am Denise and today I want to share with you some of the happy haul that I got this week. Okay, so in this bag are some happy making items that I got this week. Uh, some of them I bought and one of them turned out to be an unexpected and very sweet present from a, a good dear friend. So let's check out what I have in this bag. So first up is the present that I got from a friend this week. Um, I was having a pretty bad day yesterday when a friend um, presented me with a really really unexpected yet much needed pick me up. She said she thought of me when she got this and it really ended up making my day yesterday. So to you dear friend, thank you so much for this wonderful and gorgeous planner. I can't wait to use it. Um, I don't know what I will use it for, but for sure it'll be something special and I will share with you once I crack open this amazing journal. So it's a Joanna Basford Secret Garden Journal. Uh, if you're not familiar, Joanna Basford was the artist behind the Secret Garden coloring books that came out a few years ago that ended up really being wildly popular. So. When I opened this journal, I am expecting some of those intricate flower patterns um, to be on the pages as decorations. I can't wait to open it. I passed by National Bookstore last night and it turned out we were having a sale on some of their books and school supply items. And I came home with a few steals such as, let's put this aside first. I found this brush set. I found this brush set. Um, Montmartre. Uh, they have a line of art supplies out for children and artists, intermediate artists. But this caught my eye because um, it was priced at 250 but I actually got it for 175 pesos. And I was interested in it because these are many detailed brushes and I want to use them. I'm curious about using them with some of the ink bottles that I have. Uh, I want to use these for lettering and yeah, painting out some little details. I don't know. I'm not a good illustrator at all, but um, I find that buying art supplies is very inspiring and awakens um, that artistic urge I get every so often. So these will be interesting to work with with my inks especially. Can't wait to use these. And National Bookstore restocked on my favorite notebooks, the Veco Dotted Journal notebooks. I also found some of their um, linear notebooks, but I am still going through this one, so I just opted to buy the bigger one. This is 6 inches by 8.5 and dotted. So this will be probably be my next messy feelings notebook. And I'm through with this one. Another cool thing I found was this book by Andy Warhol. It's actually an art book uh, that was going for 50 pesos, but I got this for 10 pesos. And it's an art book that he made on uh, the evolution of the dollar, the dollar symbol. So it's just that. For it goes on for like it's like a hundred pages long, and it's like doodles of how he came to create his iconic dollar symbol. Um, honestly, I would not pay for this book at full price. I don't know what the original price was, but for 10 pesos, I mean, I could do a lot of interesting interesting work with this. We could uh, repurpose this book creatively, um, use some of the pages for journaling. I know some of you might be offended by that, but um, creative journaling with... A book like this and it's an Andy Warhol book I kind of see it like as an extension or um, 
a good use of or reinterpretation of his art. I don't know, but look at that. I mean, the possibilities for. I will keep the text, sure, but look at those pages. I mean, it's just ripe for reinterpretation. So I can't wait to use this. Let me know in the comments if you're offended by that. And I also found an awesome journal called Say Yes, a journal for dreaming big. And this was priced originally priced at 795. Then it became 300. But when it was rung by the cash, the um, cash register, I ended up paying like 200 pesos for this. So what a steal! And look at the gorgeous contents of this journal. So I can't wait to use this gorgeous journal and lastly I picked up I was able to pick up a uni Posca pen and a uni chalk marker um, I love these I mean I, I I once that I tried them out I can't wait to buy more of these the Posca especially I've been seeing so much of this pen it's a it's a paint marker, um, so it's of a better quality than your typical felt pens. This chalk marker is made by the same company, but the texture of the chalk marker is very distinct from the Posca. And just to show you what I mean, I kind of tried them out last night. So, this is the Posca. It's very shiny, shimmery, metallic, and I love the texture on 100 GSM paper. This is the Uni Chalk, and while both are very stark and sharp on paper, um, this kind of paper is really good with these types of markers. Their texture on the paper is very different. So this one is, um, this one feels like uh, very matte, like chalk, but um unlike chalk it, of course it's already a permanent marker so it doesn't come off but it's not very glossy it sticks to the page and it's very bold and bright i love both and i need more in different colors so i am seeing i am loving these two these are my favorite markers for my main journal i've already I've used I've used it on my main journal and I love it. That's what it looks like on the Stalogy on Tomoe River paper. So as you can see it's uh, both pens have distinct textures and looks on the page, but they work really really well. So those are my favorite things. That's it for my happy haul for this round. And I'm sure you will be seeing a lot of these art materials real soon. So three days later, I go back to National Bookstore, hoping to just, you know, look around. And of course, that's just one of the biggest lies I tell myself. So, I went in the store and I found a few more select finds. This is a book on creativity that I got for 17 pesos. It was already marked down from 25 pesos, but I got it for 17. So, diba, that's a huge steal and I couldn't resist. Okay, so yung original price nito was 695 and it's supposed to come with an instruction book and a sketch pad. But as you can see, parang ninenok na yung, yung instruction book. And all I got was the sketch pad. But it was marked down to 50 pesos. But guys, I got it for 25. So not bad. Not bad at all. Now this book was marked down from around 300 pesos, naging 150 na lang siya. So I bought it because I love the art style and I was thinking I could copy some of the art for my journal to practice my drawing skills.
Then I also picked up this book on crystals, which was a steal for a hardbound book at 25 pesos. I thought it'd be helpful to read up on some crystals as I recently got into collecting and adopting them. This one is not a bargain book, but I got it after I ate at the Chibo. And it was the last copy, so I really thought it was meant for me. I've always been a fan of Jessica Zafra's writing ever since I was a teenager. And this made me feel nostalgic. So that about wraps it up for my national bookstore hauls for this week alone. Next up is my MIBF stash. The Manila International Book Fair took place from September 15th to the 18th. And oh my god, Budo City. I bought more books than I planned to, but no regrets. Stopped by Anvil Publishing Stall and I picked up a couple of these books. One to keep and one to repurpose. This one, I'm not even sure if it's a duplicate buy. I may have distashed my first copy and ended up buying it again anyway. Had to pick up a couple of these chiclet books because you can't find them in any bookstore anymore. Then I picked up a couple of horror short story anthologies. If I'm not mistaken, one of these is a reprint and Sikye Horror is Yvette Tan's newest one. I had to support my fellow romance class flicker author sister, Catherine Deliosa, who had a bunch of books at MIBF. I'm not very good at keeping up with ongoing web comics or series, but I just had to get this trade paperback collection of Duty Kaba by Tepay Pascual. This comes highly, highly recommended by fellow romance class authors, and I can't wait to devour it. I've been eyeing this comics anthology by Southeast Asian artists and comiqueros, and I'm so happy I found it at MIBF. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. So that's it for my haul this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you again next time. Bye!